Hacking into Facebook account has become very normal these days. It is always safe to be cautious and check Facebook account frequently to view if anyone has hacked into it. So in this video tutorial, let me show you how to verify Facebook account and how to secure your account if you find anyone has already hacked into your Facebook account. Before that, if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get updates when new content is added. So let's proceed with the tutorial. First, we need to open our Facebook app. Next, we need to click this hamburger menu to open Facebook privacy settings. Next, we need to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and next, click and open settings and privacy tab. Again, in the settings and privacy screen, we need to click the settings tab option. Next, here on this security screen, we need to click security and login section. On this screen, we can see the devices and places we have logged into Facebook account in the recent past. On the screen, you can see I am logged in two places, Davangere and Channarayapatna. Both I have never been to. Seems like someone has hacked into my account. So first, to secure our Facebook account, we need to log out of all sessions in our Facebook account. So, with this action, every Facebook account of ours will get automatically logged out that are active. Next, we need to change the password and secure our Facebook account with a new password. Next, again, we can go back and verify if anyone is logged into any Facebook account under security and login section. And you can see no other account is active or logged into except the one I am logged into. Next, we need to verify we are logged into any apps or website using our Facebook account login details. So, we need to click this Apps and Websites option here. And again, we need to click this edit link under Logged in using Facebook tab. You can see here, I have used my Facebook login details in so many websites and apps. We can select and remove the login data from all these sites and apps. We need to scroll down and remove it here. And done. Next, we can add two-factor verification to our Facebook account to stop hacking in the future, where an extra layer of security is added to our Facebook account, which can only be opened with an authentication app code or a one-time password code to our phone besides our login details, which we feel convenient to us. With the authentication app method, we need to install a third-party authenticator like Duo or Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator is more reliable. We can install the Google Authenticator app for the two-factor verification here from Play Store. This Google Authenticator will generate a new six-digit code every 30 seconds to allow two-factor verification. We can install the Authenticator app in the same phone as that of Facebook app or in a different phone. It generates code even when the phone is in offline mode. We can authenticate or enter this code manually to log in. So, this way, anyone who tries to hack your account has have to have this code too under Authenticator app method. Or, we can select the second OTP method where a one-time password code is sent to the phone number. With this method, every time we log into our Facebook account, we will be prompted to enter the one-time password code to log into the Facebook account besides the usual username and password. These are some of the methods which can keep our Facebook account from being hacked. With this, we have come to the end of this video tutorial. Please like and share my video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get video updates.